Hi, everybody, and Happy New Year, a little belatedly. Most of you are dealing or contending with winter right now, the polar vortex. Here in Los Angeles, a company town, we're in the vortex of award season. And boy, is it tiresome. Really tiresome. There's nothing new about it. It's been going on for years, but it does seem to get worse as it expands year by year. What do I mean? Well, you can't turn on TV or radio, pick up a newspaper or magazine, or even log online without being bombarded. Bombarded with hype. Bombarded with articles and interviews with the same people over and over again. Bombarded with quotes that call everything uh, nothing short of the second coming. Now, I know critics have been starved for good movies until the fall and the winter, and that's when all the good ones seem to arrive. But really, some of these quotes are so overboard. Isn't a movie good, good enough? Good is not good enough anymore. It has to be great, fantastic, magnificent, stupendous. It sounds like P.T. Barnum is back. Anyway, what happens in L.A. during this season? Endless special screenings, Q&As, meet and greets with the stars and directors and producers and writers. Uh, it's like politics. It's very much like a political campaign. And call me naive, but I think making a good movie ought to be enough. Shouldn't the movie be enough to warrant the award or warrant your votes? The Academy for years has allowed screenings and encouraged people to go to screenings and see the movies. And in recent years, they allowed people to send the studios, to send screeners, DVDs, and one, one day it was cassettes years ago, so you can watch it at home. That's convenient. I get that too. But that should be enough, and it isn't anymore. So what happens to smaller films like my favorite, Mud, which came out last spring? It hasn't got a chance. I mean, maybe it still does, but uh, it doesn't look that way because they don't have the money to spend, the tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars, to put on these campaigns. What's more, of course, Matthew McConaughey starring in Dallas Buyers Club and making such a splash there has kind of put Mud in the shade a bit, and that's unfortunate. That's just bad timing. But again, a smaller movie doesn't seem to stand a chance against these big boys. And it's the same six, seven, eight movies that get written about and talked about and hyped up so very much. Now, all right, I'm interested in reading about movies and going behind the scenes. So I'm interested that 12 Years a Slave actually shot on a Louisiana plantation and that it affected all the people who were there. That's interesting to read about or hear about once, maybe twice but not more than that. Uh, I certainly admire T-Bone Burnett and the wonderful soundtrack he put together for the Coen brothers inside Lou and Davis. And it's interesting to learn that they did all the recording of the songs live. That's interesting to know or read about. Once, maybe twice, more? I don't think so. It, it, there's just no end to it. And it gets worse and worse and worse. And worst of all, there's another seven weeks to go before the Academy Awards. Another seven weeks? I mean, I'm glad that some of my friends and colleagues are earning a living by writing these articles, and you know, but they're running out of things to say and things to write about. It's getting redundantly redundant. It really, really is. Now, is this a world-class issue? No, not really. But here in our company town, it is, and it's plenty annoying.